I think the whole situation over the last few days is described perfectly by this headline. Apex is evolving its battle pass by splitting it in two and charging players twice. But since Respawn announced this change, what has happened to their game, how has it gone more downhill, and how can we force Respawn to revert this battle pass change? Because people are planning some things. And I know this is my second video on the battle pass change, but simply today, I thought, should I make a video on solos coming back, the new skins? No, why should I? I'd honestly rather you know how to make Respawn reconsider making this change. The battle pass change I'm talking about was one announced four days ago where basically Respawn are reworking the Apex battle pass, so now we have two battle passes per season rather than one and instead of being able to buy battle passes with 950 apex coins you can now only buy them by spending $9.99 as a straight cash microtransaction meaning if you save apex coins from completing the battle pass every season to buy the next battle pass you can no longer do that you can only buy the battle passes in cold hard cash because of this the community has absolutely exploded and the recent reaction over the last few days has been insane for example apex on steam has been review bombed into the ground Round. And I'd love to say the review bombing is unfair, but it's pretty fair. Most people are leaving negative reviews because of the battle pass change and saying they're simply not happy, and they're probably going to uninstall the game. People may say review bombing games is a bad practice and it's unethical, but look at Helldivers. A few months ago, they tried to make a really bad decision with their game by forcing all players to make a PlayStation account. But because the game got review bombed and it became a huge thing to review bomb the game, Helldivers actually reversed their decision that was causing people to leave the negative reviews. So I'd imagine a lot of people are hoping Apex does the same thing. And this is one of the best courses of action you can do right now if you're mad at Apex's decision. Simply leave a bad review on the game. Reviews aren't for nothing. Game developers and publishers realize if their game's getting a load of bad reviews, they usually have to do something because shareholders of the companies aren't gonna enjoy their company getting review bombed by angry customers. Also right now, people are very angry about the general state of the game. Like genuinely pro players are quitting because cheaters are so bad in the game. And also, the game merchant brought up a really good point about cheaters in the game. Right now, they've infested the game that bad, they're not even cheating in competitive modes. Right now, cheaters are cheating in the solos LTM. They gain absolutely nothing from this. They are literally doing it just to be a pest and an annoyance. And Respawn hasn't mentioned the cheater issue, they haven't seemingly tried to fix it, and they're just sitting idly on the sidelines while people are getting increasingly mad at the game. Also, since Apex made the announcement about the battle pass issue they have been getting absolutely bullied on social media obviously there's loads of youtube videos about this issue from people outside of the apex community which is a sign apex have screwed up people outside of the apex community shouldn't be talking about apex news and if they are it's bad and also on twitter their post about the battle pass update got community noted literally explaining that this change wasn't from community feedback as respawn claimed but it was from pure greed also every Every time Apex tweets now, I comment, revert the battle pass under their posts, and most of the time it ratios the post, so people are just so not happy about this change on social media. Another sign that Apex have really screwed up is that a lot of the creators that Respawn literally flew out to playtest the Shadow Society update, which was already a controversial update, are making long, lengthy videos and tweets complaining about this change, which is good because when more creators speak about this issue, more people become aware of this issue, and it leads us on to the second way you can make make Respawn revert this battle pass change. Simply, when Season 22 comes out, if Respawn somehow haven't reverted this change, do not buy the battle pass update. Don't buy it. It might look tempting, it might have a really cool skin, a really cool reactive, but don't buy it. In the past, Respawn have literally told us to do this because back when the Peacekeeper recolor was released into a collection event as the final reward, everybody was really mad and not a lot of people bought it. So a few weeks after this event, Respawn went on an interview to talk about this event and they said, if you don't like a change or thing in Apex, don't buy it. Vote with your wallet because obviously Respawn aren't going to make something again or sell something again if nobody buys it. And this is the biggest thing with this battle pass update we can complain all we want but if you complain and when the next update comes out you buy the battle pass you're an idiot and it's as simple as that if you don't like this change don't buy it and respawn won't do it again because they are literally motivated by money the most powerful thing you can do is keep that card in your wallet because at the end of the day the only reason respawn have made this change is not because they wanted to change the battle pass they thought the battle pass was outdated it's because recently that little arrow of the play account and therefore revenue of apex has been going down and they've worried they thought we need to make more money we need to keep these investors happy because as ea has said apex makes a lot 
lot of money for them. So what they've done, they've created more ways for Apex to make money, with these new events, these new universal heirlooms, and now the Battle Pass rework. Because if the investors of EA hear that Apex isn't earning as much as it used to, they won't be happy. The reason it's taken me such a long time to make a follow-up video to the Battle Pass changes and a video about the outrage is because I was honestly expecting Respawn to revert this change and just publicly tweet, okay, we messed up, we're going to change how the Battle Pass rework is and make it more friendly to players, but they haven't. And honestly, I'm scared they're not going to do that now. Also, I'm more scared that when Season 22 comes out, it's going to be a really awesome update with potentially Lifeline Reborn being added to the game and a whole new map added to the game, but completely overshadowed by the rage from this Battle Pass change, which would be a massive shame. I have a strange feeling that when Season 22 does release with all these changes, the community is going to try to boycott Apex again. I say again because two years ago now, the community was trying to organize something called No Apex August, where because players were unhappy about the state of the game when the new season was to come out in august of 2022 everyone would simply not load the game and not play it and watch the player count plummet as a form of protest and the community attempted to do this over much smaller issues than the battle pass changes so i do wonder if two years later no apex august is going to be attempted again because season 22 is going to come out in august but the thing about no apex august when it was attempted two years ago is that it failed so badly. Instead of the player count going down when No Apex August started, it actually started going up day after day. The No Apex August boycott didn't work and it became a bit of a meme. So honestly, even if the community did try to boycott the game again, I don't think it would work. Simply, if you want to boycott the game, leave negative reviews, talk about the issues without being weird about it, literally openly talk about the issues and what you're mad about, and also don't buy the new Battle Pass when it comes out. I think this wave of protest was perfectly described by the Apex Legends subreddit mods when they said, This is not a call to action to go review bomb the game, but to share your honest opinions about how you feel about its upcoming and current state. The reason why this matters is is because the people in charge actively monitor reviews and take them into consideration when making decisions about the games based on KPIs. If so should be the case, a large number of negative reviews can send a strong message that something needs to change. By speaking from the heart and brain with real words, and not just game dead, go play Skibbity Fortnite, we can demonstrate the size and passion we have for the game as a community, which can't be ignored. And I think that's the perfect way to protest these changes. Just make the changes known, be honest about the changes, don't be weird about them, and for God's sake, don't spend money on these changes that you apparently hate. The thing is, it is under a month until the new season comes out, and Respawn did announce the Battle Pass changes very early, so I feel like they announced them early to prepare and have everybody get mad about them, so when they start announcing new changes for Season 22, people forget about the Battle Pass changes. I think Respawn already have it kind of planned, and they seem unfortunately set on not wanting to revert this Battle Pass change, but we'll have to see what happens. Just make your opinion heard if you really care. Yeah.